Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ilona. I'm also known as Shikar Transformations. I'm an online health and fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder. And today we're going to look at some hungry fat shake. It's been requested. Uh, I, I'm not sure how the reaction is going to be. I've seen a few people react to her. I never really did uh, because she was just kind of like eating and doing her thing. But I've seen a bit more of her lately and she does seem to feel quite sorry for herself. And like, I know she's had a really bad upbringing, but at the same time, she's not really doing anything to try and like better her situation so you know especially because she was recently in hospital with like very serious health affliction to then just go back to doing mock banks and stuff it's i don't know it's sad isn't it but at the same time you know the woman's like what 50 years old at some point you have to be responsible to some degree you know so anyway besides that point if you're interested in my uh bodybuilding journey to the stage then be sure to check that out i vlog a couple of times a week show you my eating my training talk about performance analysis etc etc Additionally, if you want to be part of the Phoenix Rising, which will start on the 3rd of April, or if you want to have one-to-one -one coaching, I have some availability for check-ins for both. Not an awful lot, then be, but check with me and I'll let you know. Then email me on the email that is in the description down below and I will get you out some more information. So, let's get into this video. It's uh, Little Caesars Old World Fanceroni Pepperoni. Italian cheesy bread, a mukbang. Uh, she's one and a half speeds because she does talk kind of slowly. And yeah, I guess we'll see what's up. Hey y'all. <laughs> Ooh, today I was in the mood for pizza. So I'm in Little Caesars today. Little Caesars and I I've never had Little Caesars, but isn't that supposed to be like crap for pizza? Like from what I understand, like in terms of like a pizza takeout, Little Caesars is supposed to be like not a good one. Got the old world style pepperoni. Um, a two liter of Diet Pepsi. <clears throat> a whole bunch of sauces. I've got two butter garlic. Oh my god, I didn't order that. But okay, buffalo ranch. <laughs> um, I don't know, garlic dip is nice though. I'm partial to the garlic dip of pizza. Cheesy jalapeno. I guess they only had one cheesy jalapeno, so they gave me a buffalo ranch instead. But two butter garlic and those guys. Let's see. And uh, of course, the way she's done the makeup, she's literally just done it on her face. She didn't pull the, the foundation through. Hold on. Where's my crazy? She didn't pull it through onto her, uh, onto her second chin, which is kind of what you have to do. Like I always pull my makeup through on my chin, onto my neck as well. Crazy sauce. I hope it's in the pizza box. Dang, that's my favorite part. <clears throat> anyway, I got the Italian cheese bread because I think it's better than a cheese pizza. And if you dip it in the crazy sauce that I did not get. This is like, I've seen a few people react to her and every time she gets a food order, she's always complaining about things missing or things not being right. So either she's very unlucky or she just doesn't order things properly. I'm not sure, but I like I said, I don't watch her much, but a few times I have, she has complained about her order being incomplete. So, so yeah, she's either just very unlucky or it's just uh, a case of maybe she doesn't order things properly. I don't know. Okay. Can you see the disappointment in my face? Disappointed. It's crazy, isn't it, that people are just as big as her that they could be pretty much completely immobile. I mean, like, it's a good thing that she's working and making money, I suppose, but at the same time, it's, it's just crazy to me to sit here and watch somebody who literally was in hospital because of obesity, pretty much almost died, to then sit and watch her eat again. It's like basically watching somebody that is, uh, you know, a crackhead or something like that, or uh, an alcoholic, to then go into hospital to then watch them indulge again in their uh, poison of choice, so to speak. Oh. Oh, garlic, oh, garlic. Okay. Anywho, let me have my Pepsi first. Give me a little sip. Ooh, whoa. scared me. And I'm drinking out of the bottle because that's the way I roll. I just can't get over how uncomfortable her body looks. Just like everything looks so painful. The way she moves, everything is just so awkward. I just don't understand how people can do this to themselves. Genuinely, like it, it perplexes me. <laughs> it's my bottle. Oh, excuse me. Oh. But she does have a lot of hanging. Uh, fat. So does that mean she's lost some weight from before? Was she bigger before? Because obviously she's got like a lot of loose skin or like loose fatty hair, like loose 
she has a lot of hanging that's quite loose so i assume that it was um yeah that she has lost weight but like i said i'm not that familiar with her lore oh. hmm. I that's how i got mangled and what happened there hmm. and there's a lot of pepperonis Ooh. <laughs> looks good though Ooh. Mm. Mm. Mm, that's all the cut pepperoni. Mm. Oh, and it's really hot and gooey. Mm. Is that like feeder stuff? Is it? Is that the noises? It must be. It must be. But it's part of the eating experience as well. Because if you're eating and you're silent, it doesn't really add to the experience. Uh, the only person that I know that can do that is Review, Review Bra. Is that his name? Like he's the only one that can do reviews in pretty much the silence. But yeah, in general, it's not. Uh, in general, I think this is why they do it, but I don't know. It's the weird the sexualization of food, isn't it? Which, like, in itself, like, if I watch, I do watch mukbangers, not like, especially when I'm prepping, like, I do watch this sort of stuff. I just don't like watching it from obese people. And like, is that fatphobic, or is it not? Like, I, I don't know. Maybe it is, because I don't know. It's just watching somebody indulge, isn't it? When they're already very sick, it's, I don't know. Is it the same? Is it? It's like, I don't know. I guess it shouldn't be an issue if you like watching people eat and you like mukbangs it doesn't really matter who's doing it and like i'm not a big fan of like giant it's like i for example never do on my channel something like a really giant mukbang for like thousands of calories thousands and thousands for the simple reason that like i don't think it set a good example for what i'm trying to do and it's obviously not healthy to eat large amounts of food in one go but yeah i do enjoy watching mukbangs or people eat mm. 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 Such a thick crust pizza as well that I couldn't get behind that. I wonder if she's gonna eat it all. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest guys, like I don't know if I can do half an hour of this. I'll give it a bit more to see what she's gonna talk about, but I'm not sure if I can just sit and watch her eat for half an hour. Um, I shot about 15 minutes. <clears throat> and I shot it on. Like, what does she vlog though? She doesn't do anything, right? All day long. She just sits there and eats. And I guess edit this to some degree. But, what, like, does she do anything with her day? I can't imagine. She does maybe some cleaning in her apartment. A little app on my phone, okay? <sighs> and when I went to save it, it only saved five minutes. Okay. Excuse me. But. So then I went to edit and everything, and I had like three little clips I was going to edit together. Oh, dang it. And I got going on it and everything, and then I realized, because I was working on the end parts. First, I didn't realize till it was almost all, all the way edited, the first part was edited. That, um, I only had like five minutes of the first monologue or whatever. I was pissed. I was pissed. Oh, oh yeah, I'm looking the hell out of that cat. Yeah, cheesy. I kind of feel weird watching this. Like, genuinely, I feel not right watching this. Really delicious. I might open the buffalo. <laughs> it tastes like garlicky movie butter pop. Movie popcorn butter. <clears throat> My stomach's like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm... So, I'm... I'm sure her stomach is hella confused that it's not getting real food inside it, but it's a pizza to break her fast. I can you imagine what her digestion must be like? It must be horrible. She must be like bloated and just feeling heavy all day and I don't know, either constipated or diarrhea. I can't imagine, but I'm sure her bowel movement is not normal. Let's put it like that. I'm eating, Tommy. Mm. It's pizza time. Mm. Mm. I just, I can't put that out, so. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Excuse me, that happened. Oh. So, here I am. It's probably 11 in the morning right now. And I'm making a video. I'm going to make it, I'm going to edit it, and I'm going to put it up. She makes it sound like she has to work so hard and do so much work. And, like, she was so inconvenienced. Like, I get it. 
she did some editing and she couldn't use the footage and it sucks like i've i've canned videos before like i don't even know if this will go up to be honest because i just don't have an awful lot to say to it but it's all she does though she literally orders takeout sets up a camera which she probably set up already in a position takes out the sd card and spends like an hour editing and she doesn't do a lot of editing i haven't seen any edits so far so whatever editing she does is maybe like literally converted and add on like one or two things here and there so you know it's not like she's spending a lot of time doing it it's not like she is it's a grand production it's inconvenient i get it but i don't know she just makes it sound like she's so put out by having to do some work and it's like you're doing like an hour like it will take her an hour to film and maybe an hour to edit and it's taking her half an hour to film and probably an hour to edit you know it's all right <laughs> an hour's days for an hour's for like for a day's work you know how many views is on this 30k views in one day. Well, you know, it's a few hundred bucks. It's nice for an hour's work, isn't it? I'm gonna put it up and then I might go take a nap. Oh no. I think I got you can tell that she's literally woken up just recently though, because she's got the CPAP mark still on her face. So enough sleep but i imagine being that large is probably very tiring and obviously all that carby fatty food like that's going to make you feel tired as well i would want to have a nap after all of that mm. crispy cheese on the end mm. i love the crispy cheese i love the crispy cheese too i love the crispy cheese too i'm not gonna lie oh and I started, I started with some, some uh, HDH human growth hormone, and god damn, I've been hungry on that. Oh my word, I've been so so hungry. So I could annihilate that to be honest. But chicken and rice next for me. <laughs> for somebody that's saying she's gonna edit a video, she doesn't edit out all the gross parts. Like don't get me wrong, obviously I belch and stuff like that. Everybody does, but I don't know if I would put it on video like that. Come on. But I'm guessing that's part of the appeal, right? People, I don't know. I don't know who's watching this. Like, I, I don't know who her audience is, um, because, like, well, from what I've seen, like, her stories aren't that interesting. Um, it's kind of depressing to be watched. To be quite honest, it's not making me feel happier or better or anything. Like, I'm feeling kind of down watching this. To be quite off, yeah, it's making me feel kind of down. To be honest, um. So I don't understand like who like what, who her audience is like people that just watch people eat. But I I I watch mukbangs and I, they're, usually there's the setup is nicer, the food's looking nicer, the way they're eating is nicer. I don't know. I, I just I just don't see the appeal. All the gas in there, Lord have mercy. A massive burp brewing. Mm, mm. Mm, mm. I'm not interested in that buffalo. Yeah, you guys, I'm sorry, but I'm going to end this video because I, I'm just scrolling through um, the video, basically. Let me just do a bit more, actually. Did you make a job? So she ate around half the pizza and half the garlic bread, so at least she didn't eat it all now, but she'll obviously have it later today. Candy. <coughs> Ooh, spares, candy spares. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what there is for me to react to to this. I'm, I'm afraid. So I highly doubt I'll make another hungry fat chick reaction because there's, there's nothing for me to say, and it doesn't make me feel particularly good watching it either. Which is one of the main reasons that I don't want to continue watching it. So at least you didn't eat the whole thing. That's good, I guess. Well, I'm gonna go on that note, guys. Sorry, it happens. Sometimes you do a reaction and you don't know what's happening, what's gonna happen, if it's gonna be good, bad, or indifferent. And this was. Not my best one, I'm going to be perfectly honest. Unless I'm missing out on some lore with candy, which I don't think I do. Um, it's just kind of watching somebody indulge in their addiction and they know it's going to kill them. That's the reality of it, so it's not exactly fun to watch. To me, anyway. I don't like seeing people suffer, so... Yeah, I'm going to go. Uh, do the YouTube -y things, comment, like, subscribe, makes a difference. Uh, be sure to check out the vlog channel and insert obviously a pizza emoji, right? To be rude not to. I mean, I do kind of wish I had some pizza now, so there's that. But I'm going to go and eat my chicken and rice now. So yeah, have a good one, guys. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.